Hey, hey, hey. There you go, Casey. Uh, this is Casey, Molly Rocket, Handmade Hero. This is obviously some sort of take probably from one of his live streams that he does on Twitch, and he's just going to talk about various languages. Yeah, Rust is, I mean, Rust is probably a fine language, but, you know, it's not as good as Iron Ore. Iron Ore is a way better language. Um, uh, also, uh, the, uh, the the Zinc Oxide language is very good. Um, Dihydrogen. I think I'm. I think I'm missing the joke here, but I feel like there's a joke that's happening, and I'm too stupid to understand. Chemistry bros, I don't get you. Hydrogen monoxide is one of my favorite languages. It's got a ton of good stuff in it. Um, you know, because Rust has the borrow checker, which people like to talk about. Um, but the but uh, zinc oxide is a way better language, and uh, the borrow checker has a lot of limitations. Zinc oxide has the uh, theft police feature. The theft police is like way better than the borrow checker. Um, okay. And uh, are those like Sagandis? I can't quite tell. But if they're like the Sagandis, I mean, that's like one of my favorite programming paradigms of all time. Uh, and similarly, like, like the garbage collection features are, are like, like Go's garbage collection is terrible, whereas zinc oxide has actually um, recycling and composting, has memory composting. Uh, and Ooh. memory composting is like way more powerful than gar garbage collection, right? Yeah. Uh, because one of the problems that you get in, in languages like Go that focus on garbage collection is that uh, eventually there's, uh, you run out of raw materials, right? So you know, you're collecting the garbage. You know, I know this is a joke, but I'm currently writing a program in which my services do run out of memory, so it's not funny for me, okay? So executing manual GCs is actually the solution for me right now. And so I've been emotionally bruised, and it's not funny, okay? This is not funny right now, okay? I'm not laughing. I see you guys are laughing, but I don't think it's funny. I think it's stupid. Checking garbage, checking garbage, putting it in, uh, into the landfill segment. And then eventually, you know, either you run out of space in the landfill segment, uh, or you end up in a situation where you just don't have any raw materials anymore at all, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know... In a language like Go, all the memory has to come from the memory garden. The memory garden is planted at startup time. And uh, after you harvest all of the memory in the memory garden, and your garbage collector has collected all of that used memory and thrown it away in the landfill segment, uh, that's it, right? I mean, the program just stops. I mean, basically, uh, not, not to mention all the health problems. And so one of the things about zinc oxide, which makes it far superior, um, or also... <laughs> I don't even... I don't even know what he's saying at this point. I can't, am I the one on drugs? I can't even tell. I, the, uh, I don't know if you guys have looked at StopLang. StopLang is, is kind of like Go, but with composting, with memory composting, right? Because they recognized the fact um, that, you know, you, mm. you have this sort of inherent problem uh, with garbage collection where all of the code just, just ends up in a landfill and, and there's, you know, all of, all of that memory just ends up in a landfill after it's used and it's, it's a really big problem. So stop laying, but also zinc oxide, because zinc oxide is really like way better, uh, right? Um, yeah. Stop laying. I feel like, you know, he's avoiding talking about the Sagandis. It's like on his lips, but he's just not committing to it. It was kind of just only internal uh, uh, to, to Fugal. Um, and, you know, they, they sort of have it out there, but it's not really. Whereas uh, zinc oxide was more of like an open language, took more feedback from the academic community. We all know how good the academic community is of signing languages. Very good. The fact <laughs> that they never write any code doesn't, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't be held against them. Uh, so anyway, zinc oxide has, in that, has the memory composting. So what that allows you to do is after you use uh, some memory from the memory garden, which obviously, you know, all the memory has to go through a memory garden at some point uh, in order to, to uh, have the memory be nitrogen fixated when it's initially uh, created. Uh, unless you're in, in Plisk, obviously Plisk code and data are interchangeable and you can, and, you know, everything, everything is a plip. Uh, in that language so that's like a different kind of language so i would i would say uh yeah don't don't take that one too seriously i don't even get that joke at this point i've officially i officially have left my ability to understand what is even being made fun of at this point i think this is a lisp joke but i don't get lisp i'm not a cool kid i don't know how to program lisp so therefore I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's just a little bit weird. But assuming that you're using zinc oxide or stop laying, um, you know, that, that composting feature is really important because, you know, then instead of all of the garbage collected memory just getting thrown away, all of that, uh, you know, that, that nutrient rich used memory is mm. put into a bin, uh, right? It's put into a memory bin until it kind of has a chance 
to let, you know, usually what, and, and I, I know this seems weird, but this is very serious security research was done on both Stoplang and Zinc Oxide. And so a lot of those other languages that you're, that you're talking about there, uh, a lot of those other languages, they don't appreciate the fact that there's a lot of other uh, malicious code normally running on the machine. There's like malware, you know, viruses. Yep. But those things are actually helpful, right? Because uh, what those things can do is if you just give them your used memory, then what'll happen is those malwares will actually, they will metabolize the used memory and turn it back into re memory you can use in your actual program, right? So a typical language like, like Stoplang or Zinc Oxide that has some of these more modern memory composting features, they'll take that used memory after, you know, you use This is as deep as it gets. I, you know, I didn't realize that virus, we've been, we could have defeated viruses this whole time by just giving, us, giving them the garbage, the garbage memories this whole time. Use it in your actual program to do some computations and store some things in. They'll put it into the memory composting bin. And that mm. bin is essentially, you could think of it as a memory sandbox, right? That yeah. is running all of the malware on your machine. And it's, it's allowing that composted memory, right? To be metabolized by the malware in, back into usable memory. And so that is a really, uh, you know, again, very cutting edge, uh, very, very, very cutting edge language feature wow. that things like Stoplang and Zinc Oxide have. Uh, and, you know, it's one of the reasons why, you know, those are really great languages. I can see why everyone always comes on the stream and asks me what I think of them. I forgot what it was like to take acid. But I think I remember again. I think I fully get it now. You know, because, you know, obviously when you're in the zone, you know, these things are natural. They're obvious. You know, they just come to you. This is why the sophistication's out there. But afterwards, you you forget. But here, it's like I got to live. I got to live it in real life, actively. And this idea of being able to recycle memory by letting your your viruses and your malwares clean your your garbage your garbage memories, compost it to be usable again by the program. I mean, it's just brilliant. It's honestly just brilliant. See, this is why this is why I could never be a security researcher. I, I'm just too stupid for it. I'm honestly just too stupid for it. One day, though. One day I'll get it. The name's the prime engine. <laughs>